Hello everybody and welcome back to Gameplay Reel, the only show where today three grown men will be talking about a game that is probably made for children. Today I have two guests, I have Jesse Vitelli and Grayson Morales. Could you guys please introduce yourself, starting with Jesse. Hello, I am Jesse Vitelli and I write for Prima Games and we're going to talk some bug snacks. <laughs> Heck yeah we are, and Grayson? Yeah, I'm, I'm Grayson Morales. I am the features editor over at Twinfinite.net. And I, too, am ready to talk about the snacks that are also bugs. So all three of us have beaten this game, right? Yes. Correct. And Jesse, you have platinumed the game? I have platinumed bug snacks. So just coming into this, what were your expectations? Oh. Uh... You know what? I actually like, didn't quite know what the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay was for Buck Snacks until I started playing it. Um, cause I think the only trailer I've, I think the only trailers they really put out uh, have just shown like cutscenes, sort of like story moments, to never show the actual gameplay. So I was like going in knowing it was like something like Pokemon Snap. I really had no clue that like you had different stuff that you can use to capture monsters or creatures and stuff, and like just how like uh like diverse the way you can capture them you know um yes i i had no clue really going in because i didn't do much much research on it um I, I wasn't expecting to review it actually it was kind of like a last minute thing um but yeah i'm, I'm glad I, I got to play it though yeah the going in was weird because it was it was one of those things where like everybody was captivated by that first trailer uh especially the song of course Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. I, that stuck with me like many others for so long and then i think it was a couple sites got like a preview of it like a couple weeks ago and i remember watching just like a couple minutes just to kind of see what it was and i was like oh this is kind of like a puzzle game but i was not prepared for how much of a puzzle game mm -hmm. this actually is <laughs> in a good way in a good way oh yeah, yeah, yeah i remember the first time that i saw that trailer i was at work and I had to put my phone in my pocket so no one knew I was like listening or watching anything. It was that first PlayStation, like mm -hmm. PlayStation 5 reveal event. And this song came on and I stopped everything I was doing and just ran and hit just so that I could go like <laughs> figure out what the hell I was looking at. It was amazing. And actually entering into this game for the first time, I had no clue what I was getting in for. I honestly thought I was in for a solid 7.75 quality out of a 10 and i was completely blown away like i had no clue how much fun this would be and just how much story there was in this yeah it it it's crazy just to think like i i cause, you know when i started playing it i was like oh yeah all right this is gonna be like a fun adventure and then like as you kind of start to progress you're like wow there's a lot of like dark lore here and <laughs> there's some there's some stuff going on throughout oh, this yeah. game, and it, it's yeah, it, like you said, it, it it blew me, it blew me away in ways I wasn't expecting, and I think it it act it, like it hit the notes I thought it would hit, and so like more than anything, I think that story is really what kind of elevates it to the next level. Yeah, yeah, totally. I think the characters themselves too are kind of like a really shining, a shining like a shining thing in this game where like, I really attached to them. Like, I really attached to them. Um, like, I actually cared about how they were feeling, what they were going through. Uh, especially, like, the early, like, the early people you bring back to the town, not really the last few you get. Um, but the ones that, like, uh, what's her name? Befica? Is that her name? The yep. girl one? Yeah, Befica. Befica and, like, some of the other ones. You're like, oh, I really like you. Like, you're really cool. Some of them can be annoying. Like, the, thing, the things they say or, like, you kind of, like, speed through their texts. But, like, I, I got to a point where I, I actually cared about the relationships. Like, I really wanted them to, like, there was a lot of layers, like, their personalities and kind of what they wanted. Like, with, um, I'm forgetting all their names now. But there's two uh, male, which we'll get to, into later, but there's two uh, two male characters who are who end up in a relationship together. Um, and, like, seeing stuff like that was really neat and kind of, like, ha ha seeing them all um, kind of reach or, like, grow um, throughout the game you know at the end and seeing how they've like managed to grow um and they're like 
the, the way they treated each other because they used to like you know hate each other and they all kind of grew into like loving each other and having the, this friendship and it was just really cool mm-hmm. to see them go through all that in such like a short amount of time too um, yeah yeah and part of that is definitely because of the voice cast here i mean mm-hmm. just full of heavy hitters a standout for me was definitely uh yuri lowenthal what? as chan lo funk bun yeah i had yeah. no idea that, that was him Oh yeah. my god, he's incredible. Just, okay, everyone in this game is shockingly hilarious. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be this funny, but several times throughout this, and I'll, I'll get more into this in the spoiler section, I was just curled up in my chair cackling like a little child. It was wonderful. Just s- such a such a great cast. Everyone holds their own. Mm. Oh my god, I'm looking at the cast list right now. Sam Regal is in this. I didn't know that. Max yeah. Middleman. Oh Sam Regal uh, is... Um, don't tell me. I know this. I know this. Uh, You're almost there. Regal. All right. Yeah. Tell me. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, Sam Regal is Gramble. Gramble yes. Oh, I, could, I, couldn't, oh. I couldn't think of Gramble's name. All the names in this are so ridiculous. In yeah, like a, it's the best way possible. so fun. Like Wiggle, Wiggle Bottom, <laughs> which is the character I really like. Cause she, cause she just sang Wiggle all the time. Bottom. She would just come up with these songs and like, I sometimes I would skip through because she kind of like talked very slowly and sing songy. But you know, she was she was so great to talk to, and like, interact with. And I love like, I'm like they actually like created songs for this game, like a whole bunch of songs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Philbo, Philbo's voice was great too. I think oh, they, they were all great. Like yeah, you said. especially Philbo, because Philbo's the one who, who guides you through the story for the most part. It's mm-hmm. very, it's very like adults, like um, Rick and Morty. I feel I don't really watch Rick, Rick and Morty, but I feel like people would compare like the humor here to that, or like some show that you would see like on some like Adult Swim or something. I don't know, wow. some late night show. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's it's that great uh, sort of like it's for kids, but there's stuff for the adults there too. Exactly. That it will go over kids' head. Yes, because mm-hmm. it has that Saturday morning cartoon vibe, and it's also like you just watch you just watch it, and you're like, wait, what's going on here now? Like, this is not very <laughs> kid friendly. And along the way, there is a mystery here that I didn't expect to like engross me in the way it did. Every now and then, you'll just have a moment where everything seems fine, then in the back of your head, you're like. Oh, wait a minute. Things can't be this good right now. And yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk too much about that yet. But there were just so many moments that you're celebrating something. And you just see something out of the corner of your <laughs> eye and you're just left thinking, maybe this isn't pleasant. Maybe this game isn't very nice. Um, yeah, nice. and and without getting, uh, obviously without getting into spoilers right now, uh, <laughs> just throughout the game you're finding like you know a statue like like it's clear that like there there was something here before you right like like everywhere you go there are big monuments to other things and it, it's they very slowly implicate that there's there's a lot going on on snack tooth island it's not just what it seems and i, I think they it do is. that really well they pace that really well throughout mm-hmm. the game it is so full of foreshadowing it's ridiculous uh some of it i caught towards the end um they tease some stuff about halfway through the game and as you get to the ending of the game it starts to come back and everything just makes sense uh especially in the last hour or two but going back and replaying it there is so much in this game that's just staring you right in the face and they don't want to tell you anything at all you're just so engrossed in these cute little tiny snacks that have adorable voices and googly eyes on them that you're just, you're just left wondering, is there an actual story here? Until it stares you right in the face, and you have no choice but to And not it. to mention that all the all the snacks say their name yes. like Pokemon. I was going to mention that. Oh so, my god. I love so, it. Like when you hear just bunger, 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 bunger. Like it's so <laughs> stabby, stabby, stabby. There was one point where there's one creep. I, I think it was that one, but I'm like, this is a straight up... Uh, Pokemon. I forgot which one I was uh, comparing it to, but I'm like, this is a straight up Pokemon where I wanted to like check out the like check out the cry for this Pokemon because I was sure it was like an exact copy. I was like, it's like Togepi, Togepi or something like that. I'm like, did you want to steal this from Pokemon or something? <laughs> like, Storm, it, was, it was very Pokemon like, and I loved how it came out the controller, like the sound. Um, like I kind of wish Pokemon did that now. It's just like every time you catch something, it just like 
cries inside of your controller or something. So I didn't know that at first. I played this game with headphones on, and I have like mm -hmm. like soundproof headphones, so I can't hear anything outside of the headphones. So I like when I was when I was playing, like we said, like when I was like re going through some stuff to to clean up some loose ends. Mm -hmm. I played without headphones because I like I didn't need to hear as much, and I just heard all of them coming out of the controller, and I was like, wait, this has been here the whole time. <laughs> I also just want to give a quick shout out to the uh, the bug snack that is literally just a jar of pickles with eyes on it. Uh, the pinkle, such a wonderful idea. Yeah, there's some really clever. It, it's clever. I, I know we keep making the Pokemon comparison, but a lot of those bug snacks are clever in the way that like original Pokemon were, where they're just fun takes on food, or like they're fun takes on like a thing that already exists. Mm -hmm. And so, like the, the Pinkler is such a good example because it's just like a jar of pickles that is also like a bug. <laughs> like it's so they're so clever with some of these, or like an Oreo mm -hmm. that's just like a spider thing. Yeah, it's like things you would make, you would make on Halloween. <laughs> like like things you would dress up as Hall on Halloween. There is a bowl of soup that uses its noodles to walk around. That's freaking genius. I can't wait for everyone to just be able to see all of the bug snacks. Because they, they get more and more elaborate as the game progresses. Yeah. And sometimes you'll come back to an old area and there'll be like different snacks around because like you know, maybe you come back at night or it's mm. raining or something and there's there's some other stuff going on and you're just like, mm. oh, what is this thing? It's just that sense of discovery that's like really <laughs> just something else. There really is just a sense of wonder throughout this entire thing that I haven't really felt since I was a little kid playing like Super Mario 64 for the first time. Just every time I would enter a new area, I'd close my eyes, and all of a sudden, just around me, I hear something go like, Buffalo Locust, and I'm like, oh, what? Like, what are you? <laughs> I felt really dumb because I saw, because they, they announced the Buffalo Locust, like, a while ago. That was, like, one of the first bug snacks they really talked about. And mm. in my head, I was calling it a buffalo cost, and I was like, I don't know what the pun is here. I don't, I don't understand what the pun is. And then they say it in the game, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm just, I just, like, I. It took me so long to understand that pun. And I'm just like, I don't get it. I just don't, I don't get it. And then I got it, and I was like, wow, I'm just an idiot. Um, there, there was like moments though when I did find myself getting frustrated with catching some of the later ones. Uh, or just even some of the early ones. I'm like, I have no idea how to do this. Um, and it was usually because I was either overthinking it or just because I didn't have, like, an item necessary. Or, like, I just wasn't really thinking about, like, everything around me. But once you kind of, like, the, like, the more you play, you kind of start to learn, like, how the world works and how these monsters interact with each other. So you kind of start getting the hang of it. But, man, there's still some at the end where I'm like, I don't know how to catch this yet. Like, I have no clue. There's some really hard And ones. I have everything. And it's like, well, I don't, still don't know what to do. <laughs> it, mm. now, some of them require a lot of patience. Or, like, multi-step things. You're like, I'm going to leave yeah. this thing here, and then hopefully this happens, and then it doesn't. Like, okay. uh, little, little inside baseball. Um... Grayson has texted me on multiple occasions being like, I don't understand what to do with this. And I'm like, and as I'm typing out the response, I'm like, if anybody read this conversation out of context, they would think I'm a crazy person. I'm like, yo, how do you catch this hot dog thing? And you're like, yo, just put it in the yeah. water. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't think about that. <laughs> like there's so many, the words are so silly that I'm just like, all right, well, you got to talk to Wombus Troubleham and you got to, you got to find the weenie wog and then you got to take the weenie wog to, to Snacksburg and you got to, you got to, Friend it with Chanlo Bilbo. You're like, like, I'm like a... thank you. That makes so much sense. Like, I needed that. <laughs> yeah. uh, it brings you yeah, joy is... that <laughs> is absurd. Uh, there was a moment last night where I had to find a, a certain piece of paper, and I was wandering oh around God. this area for about four hours straight before I just gave in and I messaged one of the developers, uh, the creative director, I messaged him and I was like, hey, can you just tell me what to do? I need to get this done. Um, there are a lot of puzzles in this game where they don't uh, specifically say something to you and you really have to think back and look at old clues. Um, or you can just be like me and happen to wander across them. Uh, I had 
an occasion where there was a a little piece of paper that was hidden off in a backpack in one of the areas mm -hmm. and i didn't know i was supposed to find it at all and i just happened to wander into it and i was like oh cool i'll take this back and it made me completely miss the fact that there was a map that led to that area i got stuck at the same exact uh part you're talking about and i had to ask someone for help on that because i i didn't know where that backpack I, I didn't know it was there so i had someone told me oh just go there and you'll find it and i'm like what like how would i even know that <laughs> i mean I, I guess i think there is a page maybe that shows you or a map that shows there your is. location is there I think. yes okay so, so i have had multiple people dm me on twitter asking me that same question and they're like i heard from so and so you know how to do this can you tell me how to do this and then like another person's like i heard from so and so who heard from so and so that you know how to do this can you like what do i got to do here and then somebody messaged me and they're like i heard you platinum the game like how do i catch this thing and i'm like all right, all right don't worry we'll, we'll work through it what are you up to all right bunger weenie weenie wog in the in the water we got it we're good like <laughs> i've been guiding people through this game all week <laughs> yeah there's not a lot of like signposting sometimes so i'm just like there's a couple times where i'm like i don't i don't know what i'm supposed to do right now at all <clears throat> you gotta check those clues yeah like right? the game gives you a, a journal yeah. that has clues that you'll get and you know the, the different bug snacks and their behaviors and their likes and their dislikes and all that stuff and like you the game doesn't like the game implies that you should reference that like that should be your reference <laughs> material throughout the game but that game relies on you checking that book constantly and really trying to like put two and two together in mm -hmm. a lot of places and i think mm -hmm. you get so wrapped up in the bug snacks themselves and like the areas that like your first instinct is always like I'm just gonna walk around. I'm just gonna try to get this bug snack, and then maybe I'll I'll get a new item or something. Mm -hmm. When really it's as simple as just like opening up the book and like looking through it. And even then, sometimes it's still like, okay, well this kind of looks like this area. Let me go over there and see if there's anything over there. And then you end up finding something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it reminds me of like being a kid and playing a game when I was like eight or something, and there was like no walkthroughs really online or I had no internet. So you have to like ask your friends, like, hey, you know how to do this? And like people will tell you like like glitches that aren't real or something, you know? Um Well, you know, if you if you had an official Prima strategy guide yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might help you out. Uh what was I gonna say? Did you guys have any like weird technical stuff happen where like the camera would freak out or like something would just happen that you think wasn't supposed to happen? <laughs> Yes, I did. Uh, I didn't know whether or not to bring this up, but uh, in a couple of the areas, there are certain bug snacks that can freeze you. And for the second half of the game, every time I would get frozen by one of them, I didn't have any ice appear on my screen. So my hands would just like turn green and my character would be holding its hands out in front of them and I'd just be sitting there thinking, hmm, this doesn't seem quite right. Uh, That's there were a couple incredible. moments like that. One time, uh, I had a little strabby in a ball get stuck behind a door that there was oh. no way for me to get into. Uh, it was towards the end of the game. You, you know the door. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, my, my little buggy ball got stuck behind there, and I just mm. sat there looking at it, being like, do you think I can maybe, like, make this thing come out of here? Do you think I can fall down this hole? I spent a good hour last night seeing if I could just break the game completely <laughs> and sadly i couldn't it's not that bad it's gonna be cool so, to see like speed runners i think too. now my next question is do you know that you could just hold r1 to make the ball come back to you wait yeah if you open up your item wheel any trap that you oh, have yeah, set, yeah, yeah. you can highlight r1 and it'll disappear and come back to you yeah the retrieve okay i just wanted to make sure yeah you could retrieve you could retrieve the buggy yeah. ball that way because i've gotten the buggy ball stuck in some really crazy me. places <laughs> <laughs> trying to do some crazy bug bug catching exploits i've been trying to i'm telling you man you, you put that trip shot on a buggy ball <laughs> Ooh, i didn't try that i didn't try that at, at all and i was looking through the trophy list and i saw that and i'm like how did i not think of that. Oh, I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> and that, that's how that's how great it is. Is like it's like one like like you said earlier. It's like once you interact, once you understand how everything interacts with each other, like you can just try like really ridiculous combinations. And uh, just to get back to like the 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 bugs 
not the bug snacks, the bugs small portion. I only had one issue and it wasn't even really an issue. It was just that like if I talk to a character in a spot where the game was not expecting me to talk to that character, it would just take my camera and move it somewhere else. <laughs> Like I would like ro I would be having a conversation with like Philbo and my camera would like zoom out and then like around and bring me in front of him. <laughs> and it, it, it's not an issue by any means. It's just so funny. Yeah, yeah I, I laugh. I laugh more than anything at these things. Mm -hmm. On the opposite end of that, uh, I accidentally clicked on a character through a window and one of the biggest sections of dialogue i spent looking at them through just like a wooden plank in the wall i couldn't see that at all they were having a very serious conversation and i was just like hmm you guys look awfully woody today <laughs> my first time playing through this game i didn't get it on video uh, on the one that i'm showing right now but you know how she has a little diary in her cave befica yes I bounced off of a bunger before I was supposed to be in the Befica area. I jumped up and I was like, oh, I wonder what's in here. I walked into the cave, touched her diary, and while she was still asleep on her bed, eyes closed, she still had the audacity to say, that's my diary, you squeeb. Pause off. <laughs> eyes closed. <laughs> that's incredible. You figured out the speed run strat. Yeah, that's your first one. Get the one. bunger to hit you up the hill. <laughs> have the bunger like smack across good... the entire map to like the ice place the mountain the battle of bunger hill <laughs> way to play fetch we it did took it. me a good 30 minutes to get out of this area i was not good at the beginning of this game that's the beauty by the end you're a champion you're mm -hmm. like oh shishka bug easy <laughs> easy <laughs> you want me to get a bunger i'll bring you 12 <laughs> <laughs> but oh man just like everything in this game, from this to the music to like, oh, it's all just, it's all charming. It's all charming. Absolutely. And then it's sometimes not charming, you know, for reasons why we'll get into for at a later date. But it's, it's, oh man, I, I don't know. I just like from start to, like I finished this game and I just had a smile on my face. I really did. Like I just sat there and I was like damn what an adventure and i cared about all of the characters and everything that happened and that says a lot for a game so about uh catching food themed bugs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so before we leave uh, i just want you guys to plug whatever you want where can people find you what can people do to see your beautiful words or hear your beautiful voices grayson uh yeah i'll go first uh you can find me on twitter at Grayson Morales, very simple, very easy. Um, probably like the only Grayson Morales in the world on there, so not too hard to find. Um, you could find my writing over at twinfinite.net. You can also follow Twinfinite on Twitter as well. And then um, I have a podcast too. Ha haven't done an episode in a while, but I plan to come back soon. Um, it's called the Positive Players Podcast. Um, I have 10 episodes so far, and it's pretty much... Uh, like a, um, it was a weekly series where I interviewed people, um, like some of my friends that are in the, in, in the industry, and talk about uh, how they stay positive and just like their experiences in the industry and stuff. So, yeah, Positive Players Podcast, and you can find that on anywhere where podcasts are, basically. So, that's me. And I'm Jesse, and you can find me at Prima Games. Uh, that's where my writing is. You can find me on Twitter at Jesse Vitelli, and you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jesterfer uh you both are reviewing bug snacks right correct correct i imagine all of our reviews and videos and all that stuff will go up around the same time yes i will link them in the description below so people can see what you guys think awesome thank you wonderful all right well it's time to get into the meat of this discussion i will see everyone else on thursday <laughs> bye <laughs> Thank you for watching Gameplay Reel. I am your host, Marvel Marvelson. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, share it. You know the rules at this point. You've been on YouTube long enough. And if you didn't like it, go watch another one of our videos. It's probably better than this one was.